guys, it's me, Mariam, and today welcome back in another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Samora because it's been highly requested and I've finally gotten around to doing an updated version. I did one a while ago, like a few months ago or 10 months, I don't know. Months ago anyways, and it wasn't really that helpful. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to do another one because I felt it, I felt it wasn't as helpful. So... First of all, Femora costs money, well the type of Femora I'm using because I know there's a type on the phone but I don't use that one. I'm using the computer version and it's Femora 9. So this is the page it would take you to once you've like searched up Femora or Wondershare or something, just click on the first link. Um, you can f do a free download but that comes with a watermark. If you don't want to buy the full version, it comes with a watermark. So this is how much Filmora costs for anybody wondering. This is what it should look like. Well, it should look like this. So it shows the audios like, um, these ones are just the K-Mit Filmora titles that like, uh, you could use, transi transitions that you could use, effects you could use, elements you could use, and split screens you could use. Um, so yeah. There are a lot of transitions and effects on Filmora, but I'm going to show you guys the one that I use. I'm just going to recommend you guys the ones that I use because I don't really use all of them. So, to import a picture, you click here. And you should be taken to... Like, you should go to wherever your pictures are. Oh, also, there are some people wondering how you get gacha on computer, so I'll show you that really quickly. So, just to get gacha, just search up. Luna May, Gotcha Life, and stuff. And you'll be taken to this place. And then you can just download it simple as. It doesn't cost money, it's free. And yep. Yeah. Once you've downloaded Gotcha Life, you wanna like take your screenshots or something. I don't know. Oh, to take screenshots and to record, I use Bandicam. I'm recording with Bandicam right now. So just open random I'm just gonna take random screenshots so I can use it for test editing on Filmora to show you guys so I've taken all my screenshots and I'm just gonna open them and they're just gonna all load here so if you guys want to also if you have intros just import them the exact same way as you did that so I've imported my intro and I've imported all the um, screenshots that I'm going to use. So um, if you want to like take those black things away, like the, what you call it, I don't know. If you want to take them away, all you have to do is click on crop to fit and that would happen. So to edit, all you have to do is, I use the space bar to like, Instead of clicking on this to stop and go, I use the space bar, so like... Because it's quicker, you know, I don't have to keep going up and down. Wait a second. So, if it's like really long and you want to cut it to be shorter, just like use the space bar to go. And, wait. So, hey! <laughs> so, if you want to stop, just click the space bar like I said. If you want to split it, just click the split, but split button. To undo, you just click on this button. So if you want to start it, you can click on this button. And if you want to end it, you can click on this button. So there are two ways to like cut it, but I just go like the faster way, which is like this. I don't know if this is the faster way. Actually, there's a different way. Or you can go like this. Um, like spacebar to start, stop, drag it there. Like to stop, you know? Stop. Drag it. <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. Anyways, that's just another way to do it. So, if it's just simple scenes like that. Just stop and I keep dragging it. I hope that makes sense. Or you can just use this button and then stop. And drag. Start, stop, drag. I hope it's not complicating. Also, it might look a bit um, 
blurry whilst you whilst you're editing but it's okay filmora always does that once you export the video it'll be in like the perfect quality so don't worry because it looks a bit blurry like as you're editing so i'm just gonna keep editing these scenes and then i'm gonna show you how to do the effects and tra transition so this is what i've done so far so if you'd like to edit it even more here are just some stuff that I do. So first off, if you'd like to change your filters, you can go like here to filters. Um, sometimes the filters might be a bit too much like this. I feel like it's too much, so you might go to click on it, go alpha. Yeah, if you feel it's too much, you can take it down a bit. But I'm not using that. The filters down here as well are pretty cool. Just go to LUT and all these ones over here. They're cool as well. I feel like you can use them for scary movies though because... I don't know, I find them really cool. But they all look like they could be used for scary movies. Or mini movies. If you want to add like um, a custom text or like your... What you call it? Your um, watermark, I guess. Um, basically, you can just like take a random text from here. Basic oh wait, let me show you. This is mine that I use all the time. As my watermark, and I just put it there. And now my my watermark is there. If you want to make that, it's pretty simple. Just go to like oh my god, just go to any text you see. I'm trying to find any like normal good one, like standard text, like. I don't know. I'll just go to this one. It's fine. Um, just click on it. You can change the colors. You can change the anima animation. Like twirl it around and stuff. Or up roll. You can change the fonts here. You can change the size here. You can make it bold, italic. Um, for more advanced set um, edit, you can right click on it click on advanced edit and yeah this bit is i don't really know how to use this but i use it sometimes um text shadow you can you can make it shadow and stuff uh you can make a border you can fill the text and you can change the text Um, you can, I already showed this, but you can do animation. Just save it as a custom text. And then go to custom text and it will be here. Also, some people wanted to know how to, like, make the screen go all swingy and stuff. It's on shake. And it's called mild. So, if you just put it above your image. It should start swinging like that. You can make it slower, faster. Yeah. And if you want like the screen to shake or something, you can use extreme or chaos. I use extreme a lot though. Yeah, chaos is cool. You can use sideways. You can use light leaks. I don't use them anymore. They're cool to use though. I use this effect a lot. Just drag the effect down or you can click on it and click apply and it'll just spawn over there. Oh, I also use borders a lot. Um, basically what I do is I make it like a big size and then I blur it out use these things i don't know how to pronounce the name bokehs they're pretty cool too i'm just showing you a bunch of effects because i don't really know oh yeah i forgot about transitions okay so the most basic transition i use and i use it a lot is the flash and i'm sorry that i use it so much so basically just drag the transition and place it to wherever you want to put it like this so there are new ones as well. I don't use them that much, but they're cool. 
you can make the transitions longer shorter if you like yeah so <laughs> this is such a mess wait let me wash the whole thing <laughs> okay um you know, I'm going to leave it like this because it's already a masterpiece, you know? Oh, I'm forgetting something. There we go. See? People already wish they could make this. So to export, you click on this button over here. You can make it an MP4 or whatever these are. I just leave this MP4 because that's what I use. Uh, you can name the video here. You don't really have to do that until you get to YouTube. You can um, upload it straight to YouTube and then you can like do the resolutions and the 30 fps and you can like change the fps you can then click export and just watch it export i suppose so once it's done um exporting you want to click on find target and it's going to show you it in your folder it's over here open it and yeah that's basically it <laughs> I forgot to add an audio. Oh my god. Sponsored by Skechers. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and listening and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Party, party.